Alright, it's a little windy out, so I'm not sure how well the audio will be. Uh, 2013 Ram 1500 Outdoorsman, 5.7 liter Hemi, four wheel drive. Obviously, all Outdoorsman models are four wheel drive. Uh, the truck is near stock. The only thing that uh, is aftermarket is the MVRP chrome tip, for the exterior at least. Um, just a 50 caliber bullet antenna. Uh, the truck won't be sold with the original antenna. Just for the sole fact that I have no idea where this, the original antenna is, I put that on about a month after I purchased this two years ago. Uh, it has LED uh, daytimes and LED fog lamps, but one LED is currently out. Um, imperfections for the exterior. Uh, water leaked in through the into the fog lamp housing about, about over a year ago. Pretty much right after they were installed and they were sealed properly. Uh, very, very minimal. Uh, there are some scratches, uh, minor scratches, just from uh, hunting trips and stuff like that. The truck has never been abused. Apparently, they've been off-road other than for hunting trips. And that would be on just gravel roads. Um, let me see. There's The only place that's actually corroding on this truck is the rear bumper. Um, I use uh, like aerosol, uh, aerosol can of crown rust protection I just topped it over a couple months I'll spray it on that you see it's a little bad there there's actually a plastic protector here though I did install uh, tailgate shock so that drops down slow bring that up drop it that'll never slam uh, it has a rhino lining bed liner what else Truck doesn't have a factory backup camera. I do have an aftermarket one, as you can tell. The truck will be sold, licensed uh, with Newfoundland plates. I'm not bothering to switch it out. We'll have the bill of sale for uh, Newfoundland. You just bring it to the Nova Scotia, I guess, if you're buying for Nova Scotia. For what else? I had the bumper repainted within the last year. I had that tow hook replaced. Uh, there's the bracket actually came loose, believe it or not. Let's get into the interior. It does have the tow mirrors that pop up, though I've never actually used them. The truck also has uh, airbags in the rear, which were installed by the previous owners. It's a two-owner truck, but uh, surprisingly enough, it doesn't have a tow package or anything like that. The truck, I believe, was a special order from the factory, an older fellow owned the truck for me. Uh, it's been undercoated every year up until this year. I haven't had it undercoated in a year and a half. If this doesn't sell within the next couple of weeks, I will get it undercoated again. If not, it's up to the... Uh, purchaser coming in it's got a power driver's side seat manual passenger uh, power mirrors uh, deck mats installed uh, try to keep it clean but i am daily driving this truck and i continue to so the kilometers will keep going up uh this is the package boxing for the backup camera this is the factory radio uh, i'll show you the back seat momentarily it has an android aftermarket retrofit deck so navigation uh, you can see on the there's actually a film protector glass screen protector on this that came from the uh, factory I bought it from and I never actually took it off so it's up to the owner I, I'm like that with new things uh, it's got a hundred at the time of recording this video it's hundred and twenty two thousand nine hundred and twenty five kilometers that will continue to climb this truck does come with a lubricant warranty which I've exercised twice I don't know if I have the work that I've had done through Lubrico, the paperwork for it, but um, Lubrico has a history of it all anyway. I've had a rear hub seals replaced and I've had a front passenger side wheel bearing replaced. And that's the only thing. Um, it has up till, the warranty is still active until next August or until 140,000 kilometers. This uh, aftermarket radio, it's an Android system. You have Bluetooth connectivity, music, you have navigation applications, you have the radio. Um, I won't go through it right now because it's a very, very good uh, radio. And it's also, like I said, it's retrofit, it looks factory. Uh, the backup camera is wireless. There it is. Uh, no lights in the dash, absolutely no issues from this truck. Like I said, it has rear airbags. What else can I go over? Uh, it's got the uh, bench seat, center console. Uh, there's more storage down here, as you can see, underneath the seat. Uh, storage container here, uh, two glove boxes box down there the window on the driver's side i find is a little wobbly it's fine sometimes it's like squeaks a little bit it's been like it since i bought the truck and i've never actually had problems with it it just seems a little uh 
It just doesn't seem as rigid as the other three windows. Uh, Four-wheel drive works well. I'll put that in four-wheel for you now. Should work without having to move the truck. Just here, click in. There you go, it's in four-wheel. I'm not gonna put it in four-wheel low because I have to put it in neutral and everything. Truck does shift in and out of gear well. This reverse, drive, neutral, park. Truck shifts smoothly. Uh, it does have tow haul mode and obviously traction control off. Has a regular outlet. You have a USB down here. USB and auxiliary, although it has Bluetooth anyway. And a uh, DC out, or 12 volt DC outlet. Some odds and ends in here. Try to keep the truck clean as it's for sale. These, uh, it's 40 60 split. So we have this seat goes up and then that unravels. I'm not going to play with it with only have one hand available. There's a storage cubby here and it's the same thing on that side. So we can get it up. This goes up. And then, bear with me, that goes down. And there's storage underneath, and there's a tow hitch there, which won't be coming with the truck, because that's not even mine. That's about it. The undercarriage is in fairly good shape. As you can see, the undercoating is after getting dry, crusty, and it's starting to show some minor service rust. Like I said, if it doesn't sell within the next two or three weeks, I'll just bring it to Crown and get it done again. Uh, I think that's it. A little tiny bit of imperfection on the driver's side. Some rust there. Um, it's only door that has that show you the roof like i said uh the truck is licensed on uh, newfoundland plates and it will be sold as is the only thing this truck should need in the next year or two is probably tires it's on dirt tracks right now they've got like uh 80 000 on them uh but that's about the only thing uh, like i said in fact, i don't think i'm forgetting anything truck has been very good it's been my baby i i'm selling this because i uh i'm in the military oh it also has cylinder deactivation so once you're up to highway speeds and you're not using uh heavy acceleration or anything it goes down to four cylinders from eight um it's still a 5.7 liter no matter what truck gets maybe six to 650 kilometers to a tank mixed driving uh but uh the reason for selling the truck is uh I am a single male saving for a house in the military. I'm living on a military base right now. I moved from Newfoundland. I don't need this truck at all. Uh, it doesn't fit my lifestyle at all right now. Um, so I'm just looking to get down to a car or a small SUV. Uh, the price, I guess, you know, it's negotiable, but I am not going to be dealing with any low ballers. The truck will be located for viewings uh, on a military base. So don't waste my time and don't waste your own time. So uh, any questions, you can uh, contact me through email or text me. I'm training most days so i'm unable to pick up phone calls during work hours uh but i'll leave all the information in the ads